Hey everyone, I'm Christina and I created this video to let you guys know the process for purchasing a vehicle from a private party seller, specifically on Misawa Air Base, Japan. All right, so you found your dream vehicle. You wheeled and dealed, you got it for a good price. Congrats, hopefully you did get it for a good price. Anyways, so what do you do now? Okay, you, you paid for it, maybe you're waiting to pay for it till all the paperwork's done, I don't know but you gotta get insurance on that bad boy, okay? So there's lots of different um, ways to go. Uh, the easiest way that I found is just to head on over to Lucky's Insurance here on base, located at the Weasel's Den. They open at 10 a.m. on the weekdays, and you can purchase your vehicle insurance, liability insurance, right there. So. Once it's insured, you're gonna bring that documentation, amongst other things, to the Tori building, or Tori, I don't know yet how it's pronounced. Um, but you and the seller, and by you, I mean the active duty member is the one that registers the vehicle, unless the power of attorney is appointed. And then the seller, same thing, um, head over to the Tori building, and what you're gonna do there is you're gonna provide the people that are working with a current JCI, which is an inspection insurance inspection report. Um, it needs to be current. So that, as well as the insurance that you just purchased, copy of that, as well as road tax statement stating that it, hey guys, I'm trying to explain. Um, as well as, statement um saying that you paid road tax for the year which by the way it's every may that it gets paid it's an annual requirement um also both parties need to bring their japanese driver's license and cat card the buyer also has to bring pcs orders okay so once you bring all that stuff to the tory building pass and registration you sign some paperwork and it's done You've registered the car. But there's a few things I wanted to point out. Hold on, just hold on, just one second. Okay, a few things. So, <laughs> um, license plate merely gets transferred as long as it's got a Y on it that indicates that a US military member um, owns that vehicle. So if it's US military member to US military member, then the plate is just fine. Also, you can only register um, one vehicle per driver. So single airmen are only authorized one vehicle. Household with two drivers, they're authorized two vehicles. So I think that about covers it. I hope it helps. If you have any questions, comment down below. I'll surely help you out with whatever I can. Also, if you're interested in hearing about my experience with my first car purchase, got it from the Lemon Lot, um, my video will be going up next week probably. So if you're interested, check that out. All right, take care.